What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and this has to be the single worst graphics card experience I've had in quite some time, probably since the Founders Edition Vega. Stick around. I don't know why I said stick around. I used to have an intro. We don't have one. Anyways, if you guys are interested in putting all your miners behind an easy VPN, check out Flash Routers. My affiliate link will be down in the description below. Flash Routers makes it easy for you to go ahead and configure a VPN at the router level, meaning everything that you plug into it, including your miners, will be on that VPN. It has a slick, easy to use web interface where you enter the credentials for popular VPNs such as NordVPN and FreeVPN, as well as many others. And once you've done that, you select the location that you want to go ahead and target and connect to, and you're off to the races. I just picked one up myself and am enjoying it quite a lot. So if you're interested, definitely use that affiliate link. Without further ado, let's talk about the Gigabyte Aorus GeForce RTX 3080 Master. 10 gigabytes of VRAM revision one. And that's gonna be very important. First of all, let's talk about specifications. Its core clock is supposed to be 1845 megahertz boost with a reference of 1710 megahertz. It has 8,704 CUDA cores with a memory clock of 19,000 megahertz. The memory size is 10 gigabytes and the memory type is GDDR6X. The memory bus is 320 bit and the bandwidth is 760 gigabytes a second. The card bus is PCIe 4.0 and that pretty much wraps it up. This particular model has a recommended power supply of 750 watts with two eight pin PCIe adapters. And this is where things go wrong. So this is revision one. Now Gigabyte has released the revision two of the master. This is a premium card, not the top of the card line for Gigabyte right now, but pretty close. And it does come with a price premium. And now they've re released a second revision of it. And there's a reason why, and we're gonna show you here, but basically revision two comes with not two eight pin adapters, but three eight pin adapters. And you might think, well, maybe they can solve it in a BIOS update. Well, we've done the BIOS update and it made it worse. And now the worst part is I can't even flash back to the original BIOS now. So we are stuck with a card that they've made a second version of. And this is why you always need to wait for reviews, obviously, but in this climate, it sucks because you're just trying to get whatever you can. But even if you see these for sale, I, I wouldn't pick one up. Let's get into why. So hopping on over to the system here, you are going to want to pay attention to this GPU power right here, okay? And we are going to go ahead and run a miner because it basically, this problem happens on both mining and gaming, but the miner seems to expose it faster than gaming, but we can also do a 3D mark benchmark run and you'll see the same thing. But let me go ahead and get the drive plugged in with my miners and then we'll go from there. Okie doke. So we're gonna be using the latest Phoenix miner 5.4C. Like I said, you wanna keep an eye on this GPU power here. We also have a kilowatt that I will demonstrate it on as well. But first, just to give you guys an idea, let's start the miner. The card settings are stock. And as expected, when we first start the miner, we are going to have essentially the expected hash rate, 85 to 87 mega hash a second at stock. Everything's looking good. Power is ramped up to 300 watts and then, oh, 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 under 200 watts, hash rate starts dropping. So there's the issue and now I'll show it to you guys on the kilowatt. So I'm gonna stop the miner. We're gonna do the close up just so you can see the miner running upside down in the background because apparently I need to fix that. And then here is the kilowatt. So as you can see, the system's running anywhere from 100 to 130 watts. 
and then we are going to start the miner and we will see it spike up into the 400 watts or so there you go and then we are getting the proper hash rate and then fan spin up and boom back down and the hash rate is back down so i thought well maybe it's heat something like that we'll turn the fans up to 100 percent but as you guys can see here our temperatures are at 42 c so we don't really have a heat problem here unfortunately we have a power delivery problem best i can tell and that is definitely confirmed by revision to getting three eight pin power adapters so i really wanted to do a review of the rtx 3080 i also clearly need to pick up a 3080 that functions properly before we can really start testing in some of the games i think pretty much this negates any of my cyberpunk 2077 benchmarks unfortunately which hurts the soul uh, good news is it's pretty low power and it does hash at like 76 to 80 mega hash a second at about like 180 watts so it's not completely useless but for gaming in my opinion this card is completely useless and this is unacceptable too you can't roll out a revision 2 and make it super obvious that there's three 8 pins on there and that there's a power issue and i'm pretty disappointed in gigabyte here i don't know what the if there are any rma options here where i can get a second revision i really have no idea i'll be reaching out to gigabyte and trying to figure that out now another thing being a miner of course now that we have mined on the card it is important to keep in mind that a lot of people will deny you any sort of rma requests so this is just going to have to <laughs> go into the mining farm running at 80 mega hash a second because we have a derped out card that was gimped by the power and yeah so hope this video is helpful i'd highly recommend avoiding revision one if you're going to be picking up a master an rtx 3080 master make sure it's revision two and stay tuned if i figure out what exactly is going on and we can resolve it i will let you know and thanks for watching as always check out the crypto.com link down below if you want to sign up and get 25 dollars free i'll see you next tuesday oh Real quick, I wanted to mention, best part about this graphics card, you can put a little uh, GIF on it. We have an Ethereum GIF, so that looks cool. Adios.